And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee, and uh, our next guests are from the Wayne Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation. They join us for a look at the, the center and their wonderful programs that they have there. We welcome Carmen Cruz Lee and Juan De Jesus. Juan G. They call you Juan G, too. That's right, Juan yes. G. De Jesus. We welcome you guys to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Bob. So tell us about the center. You guys have uh, been in, in existence since 1974. So uh, thank you for having us, Bob. Um, we are the Wayne Center for Nursing and Rehab. We're located uh, 3530 Wayne Avenue. We are mm -hmm. a skilled nursing facility mm -hmm. with 243 beds um, at the Wayne Center. And um, we are not just your typical nursing home because, as you know, in the Bronx, um, we are overbedded with uh, probably about 48 nursing homes in total. Yeah. Um, wow. We are special in the sense that not only are we 243 beds, but we're also a 54-bed ventilator respiratory unit, which is the largest in the Bronx. And um, yeah. we're excited to share this information to the community at large mm -hmm. and to let them know that we're here for them. Yeah, a lot of right. people are living on ventilators and respirators. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, Wanji, you, you work at the program? Sure, I work with the Wayne, I work with the Wayne Center. Uh, I'm the uh, marketing manager there. Um, it's 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 amazing the amount of individuals who actually have to be on a ventilator depend you know it it, it depends on what uh, happened in their life for them to actually be on the ventilator whether it was a stroke or uh, a, a huge accident that left them paralyzed and not yeah, being able unable to, to breathe on their own unable to breathe on their own um, and again we are the largest uh, vent unit in the Bronx with 54 mm -hmm. beds. So we are in high demand because we actually partner up and work with all hospitals throughout yeah. the Bronx, but not only in the Bronx. We do Westchester County, we Jer Jersey. Yeah. I mean, you know, and- um, well, People are looking for a wonderful location. And absolutely. They look up and they see absolutely. the Wayne yeah. Center. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a phone call. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. That's it. And That's it could be, again, from anywhere. Um, you know, and with the ventilator unit, when we bring the families in to actually tour the facility, um, we speak about everything that we do and how the family will be taken care of and yeah. how our director of uh, uh, respiratory therapy um, takes care and is actually a person that's been doing this for over 20 plus years already. Right? So she takes great pride in the uh, work that's being done with the ventilators. Yeah. And we've been able to wean individuals off the ventilator um, to actually just live on the trach for a bit until they're completely off of it, yeah. you know, and we have a great testimonials on it as well. Yeah, wow, yes. We, we have a uh, great testimony uh, as far as uh, the weaning process on our ventilator unit. We also want to express the Wayne Center also offers short-term rehabilitation. Right. So for those individuals um, who are currently hospitali hospitalized and may need a subacute uh, short-term rehab, this is a facility to choose. Yeah. Um, we offer physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. Maybe an individual had a stroke. Um, maybe they're having total knee replacement surgery or hip surgery. So this is the place where you want to bring your loved one and get that physical therapy, occupational therapy, and right. get back. Exactly. Get back. exactly. And, and since you were talking about end of life, um, we also offer hospice. And um, that's a little bit tougher when the family has to decide, what am I going to do now? And, um, you know, at most, at most points, individuals will end up maybe like in Calvary, yeah. where it's the end of life hospital. Is yeah. that where uh, you can't um, maybe wean them off? They they won't breathe on their own, or well, they, they, this is either two options: you give them a trachea tracheotomy, or tracheotomy, right? Or you keep them on the. Oh, on we the keep system. them. I'll keep them on the system. I mean, the goal at the Wayne um, with our event is to wean every single patient. Uh, realistically. Um, Every patient may not be weanable, yeah. so we express that. Um, the longer they stay on, the, the harder, the tougher it is to wean them off. It's right? tough to yes, yes, yes. And the goal is is to wean them. Right, so, it's a case by case, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. as 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 you know, and um, they actually do their best um, again to wean them off. And there are some that actually do come off of it. Yeah, and are. And others, Actually, it's a way yeah. of life, so you have other Absolutely. programs for right. them. Absolutely. They can get involved in many different things at, the, at, at, at your center, right? Yeah. Yes. With that, yes. With that said, we have an excellent therapeutic recreation department, which is headed by Eddie Gonzalez. Um, you talk about keeping our patients, our residents busy, from bingo to movie night 
to pageant night, to Mother's Day events, Vi Valentine's event. That I mean, therapy, you, you know, know, the therapy alone. It's the socialization that we give see, all they of had our the patients. pageant yeah. night over there. See, you, so. you should invite us over when you have the pageant. <laughs> definitely, oh, absolutely. Definitely. See people with definitely. smiles on their faces definitely. and you're getting ready. Yeah. Carmen actually, yeah. Carmen actually started, you know, uh, this, the Wayne Center is also about community. Yes, yes. Um, and, and, you know, our administrators understand that. So they have uh, invited us to bring in different types of programs into the Wayne Center. Carmen herself started something called the Senior Task Force. Yep. And uh, every three months we meet up and we invite seniors from the community uh, to uh, visit us and see what the Wayne is all about. And Carmen could tell you in November we're going to put something on. you got to continue to put a smile on somebody's yeah, face. You know, <laughs> it's not over until it's, it's over. It's not over until it's over, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we're excited to reach out to the community as well, yeah. especially our seniors in the community. The Senior Task Force, um, basically, as Gabe was saying, is to reach out to the community, let, bring them into the Wayne Center, let them know that we have open arms for them, we're a nursing home, um, we're here to hear them, but we also bring um, lectures and we bring in uh, special topics. Thing. Right. Yeah. So, so right now we're we're, gonna we're bring in a DJ. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we need a DJ. So no. We're, so now in November we are looking to put together a Thanksgiving uh, luncheon oh, good. for our good. seniors in the community. Yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, start, you know, spreading the news on that. Um, you know, and there's several things that, that are happening, you know, as the months move closer to, to the holidays. Everybody starts partying and having some fun, you know, and that doesn't exclude the Wayne. Yeah. Um, Exactly. Just because you're you're in there doesn't mean that that's it for you. Mm -hmm. So we provide a whole bunch of different activities um, for our patients um, and their families so they can have fun. You know, we are a five star facility. Yeah. Um, we obtained our five star rating again. Um, you know, and we take pride. You know, quality well, care. Clap and congratulations <laughs> to you guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys have been around since the disco days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jane, D Train Williams and that's shake right. the place up just a little that's bit. It. Yeah, that's right. Well, I actually invite him over so like there that, you go. know, <laughs> if, 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 if he's if he's willing to come and, and uh, speak to some of the seniors, uh, I bet you they'll remember and have a, a great time as well. Well, he does some wonderful things in the community. You can talk to him about that. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure if he's free, he'll step into the room, and wave a hand. You sure. Know. Sounds sure. great. Sounds that's great. A, that's a feel good thing. That's mm -hmm. a good give back. Um, so. What is your approach to uh, this whole thing? Since so you've been doing it since 74, the Wayne Center is not new on the block. Mm -hmm. and yeah. mm -hmm. Well, we, we've stayed focused on, again, reaching out to the community, reaching out to our partners. We partner up with every hospital. Uh, again, in the Bronx, West of the County, we work. So you have a great outreach going on. Absolutely. Absolutely. We work directly with Absolutely. our social workers, our nurse care, uh, case managers, CTCCs. Um, who refer the cases over to us, you know, so we can bring them in. The admission mm -hmm. process is simple. We uh, make sure that we receive all the information on the patient. Mm -hmm. um, our director of admissions and the department look at it. And, okay, this is, this is a person we can work with to wean them off of the event or get them the short-term rehab they need yeah. or the long-term placement they need or the hospice or the respite because we do respite as well. So that's, yeah. it's a mixed bag of a lot of different services, yeah. Um, and so our goal is to go out to the community and let everyone know information is power. If you don't know what we offer, then how will you know what services you you're going to need? You won't know what's behind the curtain. That's it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We're culturally diverse also, so um, that's important. You mm -hmm, know, our mm -hmm. community needs to know that we're servicing them. Yes. And um, again, we have an open door policy. And just mm -hmm. to go back to the uh, Thanksgiving, that's November 15th, 18th, yeah. from 2 to 4 at the Wayne Center. Oh, beautiful. Uh, is there a website we can go to and just explore? Yeah, thewaynecenter.com. Yeah. WayneCenter.com, simple enough. That's we it. thank you guys so much. Give them a big thank round of applause, everybody. Tommy Cruz, lead director of marketing and business development at the Wayne Center. And Juan G, Juan G de Jesus, the marketing outreach manager at the Wayne Center. We thank you guys. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Open Next.